Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the month of October 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it, yeah? <sighs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for the month of October 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer. Let's see what we've got for you here. Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right. One more shuffle for you, Cancer. I'm seeing green here. Could be a heart chakra activation opening, connecting with their, with through the heart. Okay, Cancer. 
overall energy. We've got the Queen of Swords. Um, uh, this could be speaking to a divorcee, someone that is divorced, someone, or this is really just someone that's um, very independent, very, I heard cutthroat, but ruthless when it comes to keeping the peace, keeping her surroundings clear of any sort of drama, okay? She's really not about the drama right now. Or she never really is. But Cancer, you might not be <laughs> about the drama right now, okay? You've got the Seven of Pentacles. You've got the Four of Wands. But you also have the Four of Cups. Okay? So, I really feel like, Cancer, you probably come into a period where you're really... You're preserving the stability that you have with the Four of Wands here, okay? Um, and you're preserving your home life. Um, and you're kind of, you're reaping some sort of benefits here. But also, I'm really getting an energy of um, review, of understanding what it is you have, what it is you have coming in, what it is you need to let go of, what it is you're harvesting in this moment, that kind of thing. Um, Really starting to understand, you know, what you're reap, what you are reaping as af, as after you've sown whatever you've sown, and um, coming to terms with it. And there could be an offer here that's trying to come forward for you, or you could be trying to sending trying to send an offer, but you're not so willing to take it right now. You're kind of like, mm, I don't know, I don't know about this yet. It seems enticing, but I just don't know what I want to do with it because of this Queen of Swords energy here. Someone could have recently left a relationship, um, could have could have gotten divorced within some sort of recent past, within the last few months, sometime this year, I want to say, and is really discerning between what they want to engage in, what they want to get involved with. And this is the main reason why you have this Four of Cups energy here, um, Cancer, because you're really trying to understand your current harvest and what you want to do next, okay? So the, seeing that Four of Cups is really actually not so bad in relation to the rest of what's coming up here, okay? But you're really, <laughs> you're really in a no-bullshit frame of mind right now. And that's very good, Cancer. That's still very, very good. And family, absolutely, family and home life is absolutely on your mind here with the Four of Wands. Even commitment, probably. You just want to really make sure that it's right before you get jump into something with someone. Your current energies. For the first half of the month, the surrounding energies were starting you out with the Six of Wands. Victory, okay? You could be connecting with the fire sign because you do have two depictions of fire here, but these are more circumstances. I don't really look at these as um, people too much. The court cards I look more as look at more as people, but um, the Six of Wands, there is definitely victory around you. And that victory could very well be if you left a relationship so far up re recently, that very, <laughs> very well could be a victory for you, okay? Six of Wands is coupled with, aha, the Ace, I'm sorry, the Magician. So victory or recognition is coming through in the form of manifesting something new. If you're really trying to manifest something new, your chances are it's going to go very, very well for you. Okay, you are on the right path. You are exhibiting the right energy in order to bring this manifestation forward. Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny. I just heard time is on your side also. Um, but this is the wheel. The wheel is turning in your favor. This is absolutely about divine timing also. Okay. The wheel of fortune is coupled with ah, the king of swords. So here you go. You've got your counterparts here. Okay. Someone is, and this honestly, this, I really feel like this could be you, Cancer, could really be um, being as objective as possible 
being as diplomatic as possible, weighing out all the options, remaining detached enough to see the truth behind the situation, not really investing too much into it, approaching something from a logical point of view. I also see this person, whether this is you, Cancer, or someone that you're connecting with, is watching the wheel turn intently with a, a heavy dose of detachment just to see where things are going to land. And it's very much connected to this Seven of Pentacles energy, okay? Because you're looking at this, or this person is looking at this through the eyes of what they've experienced and learned in the past, from the past, okay? The current challenge for the first half of your month, the Page of Cups. So reconciliation is what I heard, um, but communication of true feelings, true emotions, either you need to communicate your emotions, someone else could be sending a, a message of emotional value towards you. Um, and that's in the challenge part and I'm picking up because of the past, what you could be coming out of. Okay. Page of cups is coupled with <laughs> the ace of swords. Yeah. So communication. The aha moment, the communication of the truth, and these are true and honest feelings. Someone, I'm really getting an energy of someone really not being afraid or ashamed to say what they truly feel about something or someone. Um, and I really feel like Cancer, this is probably someone coming towards you saying, being very honest, very straightforward, very, very upfront and blunt, blunt. About, I mean, like not mincing any words, like saying exactly how they feel and communicating exactly what they want. Yeah, that could be challenging because what if you're not necessarily ready for that? I don't believe that though, Cancer, because if, if you're saying to yourself, oh no, I'm not ready for that, then why are you manifesting it? Six of Wands, the magician. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, just saying. <laughs> okay, the potential outcome for the first half of the month, you got, ah, the Ten of Swords. Finally putting an end to a situation. And I feel like there's someone that's coming through that's going to help you put an end to that situation. The worst is behind you. Ten of Swords is coupled with the Hierophant. And what's going to put an end to that situation? Maybe a Taurus, but someone that's looking for commitment. This also could be the end of a commitment. This could really finally be like the final ending of it. And that could be influenced by, honestly, that could be influenced by someone coming forward and offering you something. You know, maybe there's someone that comes around that's like a catalyst for you to finally be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to put an end to that. Because maybe this person is offering you something better. <sighs> Who knows? Second set of the month, surrounding energies, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So emo so, so material fulfillment here. Um, a family situation. A stable, grounded home life is what I'm getting here. Um, uh, material fulfillment, family. This also could be career. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with judgment. So what's coming through for the second half of the month is something that's absolutely divinely guided. Okay. This is like divine partnership at play here. This is the universe orchestrating this, this situation that can be very materially, uh, materially or financially fulfilling. It feels very family, very home life to me. This is something that is orchestrated by the universe. Through the efforts that you're putting forward, you or someone else, Cancer, that are you're are putting forward in order to manifest, okay? Second set of current of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, you've got the Six of Cups. Hello, we've got a soulmate relationship, so potentially uh, some even someone from your past. It could be from the distant past. It could be from, you know, some recent past. Six of Cups is coupled with the, the page of pentacles so there is someone from your past or someone that you have maybe shared a past life with um a, the, or like just a soulmate bond that is that wants to offer something wants to send a message of commitment is what i'm getting with the page of pentacles someone wants to offer something to somebody that they feel very comfortable with very 
close to, even though you may get, even though you guys may not really know that much about each other, there is a level, there's a deep level of, of comfort here that's very reassuring and that's helping this thing move along. Your challenge for the second half of the month, the King of Wands. <laughs> Yeah, the King of Wands can be challenging because the King of Wands is very assertive and knows what he wants and is going to go after it, okay? So you could be connecting with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. You could also be connecting with an Aries or a Sagittarius. You could be connecting with an air sign too because you have the King and the Queen of Swords. The King of Wands is coupled with <laughs> the world. Wow. <laughs> it's so funny because I what I got with this, with the King of Wands and the world, is, is someone saying, I want to nail you down. I want to tie you down. I want you to be mine. I found what I'm looking for, and now I want you to, I, 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 and it's you, so I want this. This could also be, the challenge here could also be the ending of a situation with a fire sign or with a king of wands or someone that exhibits these very charismatic, assertive, maybe even aggressive energies. But the mo for the most part, for the most part, what I'm getting with this king of wands and the world is um, this is completion. Like this is a match. I literally just heard a match made in heaven. Like, Y'all have found the one. In in many cases, this could it potentially be you found someone that you could really settle down with, and that would could be very very challenging. Again, what if I'm not ready for this? Oh God, I don't know if I don't feel like I'm ready for this, but you've been manifesting it. Hello, <laughs> Earth to Cancer, you've been manifesting it. Maybe not consciously. But understand that the universe is not going to give you anything that you're not ready for. And it's so funny because while I'm looking at this King of Swords here, and it's almost like the King of Swords is just sitting there watching the time go by, watching the Wheel of Fortune turn, and waiting for that right time to swoop in. Patiently. Just waiting. The potential outcome for the second half of the month, you've got, oh, the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. And that's coupled with death. Okay, well, there we go. That's good. That's very good. Why? It's the ending of a, of a period of feeling neglected, feeling left out in the cold, feeling taken advantage of, feeling just dejected. I feel like someone is coming out of a relationship in where in which they they, they feel like, you know, they were not they were undervalued. Okay? They were taken for granted. They were left behind, left out in the cold. And there's someone that's coming forward that's really going to change that for you. Transformation is at hand here, guys. And that's really, really nice, Cancer. Okay, let's get into your oracle guidance here from the unicorns. Whoops, there goes my pivot. What have we got for you, Cancer, from the unicorns for the month of, whoops, October. There we go. Okay, well, underneath the deck, whoop, underneath the deck, you've got Sanctuary here. Okay, so this is definitely talking to the um, your, your safe place, you know, maybe needing to go into your shell a little bit, take some time out from the world, spend more time alone, meditate, or go on a retreat. Um, I'm just reading that as a, a, a need to really reconnect with yourself, especially if you're coming out of a situation. Um, just take some time to reconnect.
but don't get trapped in your shell. Like, don't go into your shell and, like, stay in there forever, okay? You've got anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred, okay? You've got hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Yep, the worst is behind you with the Ten of Swords here. Look up to the light. You've got also intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. So I really feel like there are some of you that are like trying to manifest a really a deep, wow. And I, as I'm just connecting with that at the moment, it's like some of you, yes, some of you really want a relationship, a, a loving, true, honest relationship that, you know, isn't too demanding, isn't too controlling, you know, allows for space. And I feel like that anger that's coming through is from a relationship in which that was not given, okay? With the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant. It was very controlling. It was very much keeping up with the status quo. But now that you're starting anew, have hope. Because look, this, this unicorn's mane has been cut. But time over time, it'll grow back, right? So there is hope here. And use your intuition. If your intuition is leading you toward or is, is communicating with you that you're connecting with someone, you have this connection with someone, don't be afraid of it, okay? All right, Cancer. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of November. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.